So with our 360 plugin, uh, we have customized post-processing settings that work specifically for the 360 output. And these will all be included in the details panel. So we recommend that you use our post-processing settings as opposed to the normal Unreal Engine ones in order to avoid any seams or artifacts in the output. We also have a custom bloom function, which works for seamless 360 content. But this needs to be adjusted to create the same visual output as Unreal. And for reflections, you can also use ray tracing. This is compatible with DirectX 12. This project isn't a ray tracing project. Um, but if you did have one, you could turn on the ray tracing. We recommend that you don't use screen space because this will create artifacts and seams in the reflections. The best way to check for any artifacts or seams would be to open up OBS and to directly check the output here. If you would like to use tone mapping, we have a setting which will allow you to enable this. Just bear in mind that if you use tone mapping, then our seamless 360 bloom won't work because it'll cause seams. So you'll need to decide between using the tone mapping and the 360 bloom. In order to do color grading and adjust the visual output of the camera, we recommend that you do this during runtime, as this will give you the most accurate representation of what the 360 output will look like. So once you've adjusted your settings and you want to save these, then find the 360 camera in the world outliner, right click, go to keep simulation changes. And this means that when you exit runtime and stop, it will save your settings for the next time. So we also have a bespoke post-process volume for the 360 camera. So you can drag that in there and just resize it to your scene like you would with a normal post-process volume. You find the same post-process settings that are suitable for our camera in the details panel. So it's a good idea to use our post-process volume as opposed to the normal Unreal Engine one, as there are settings which will be disabled automatically for our 360 camera.